Alright guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. We are, um, where are we? <laughs> exactly. The Hands of Glory Guildhall. Okay, so that would return us to the warehouse. A uh, new area for us. Hi. What are you guys doing? I'm dead. Oh, really? Come here. Oh, look. You died super quickly. You died even faster. Oh, you have throwing knives. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that was easy. Ooh, lesser rejuvenation potion. I'll take it. All right, what do we got? Uh, oh, it's one of those traps. You no, know, it'd be nice if I could hit this guy. There. Got him. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. I'm going to assume I don't need these. Because me having to drag one down here to get a treasure would be ridiculous. There we go. Okay, that's just a that's just a uh, suit of armor. I thought that was like actual an actual enemy, which that would have been a little rough. I think. Oh come on. Ooh, uh, superior staff. I already got one, but we'll be able to sell it for a little bit of money. Because we're going to need it. Uh, yeah, I still got 40 pounds. Yeah, 3 to 15. 3 to 15. All right. Oh, uh, let's go left. Oh, no. Puppies. Dead. Dead. And dead. I hate killing puppies, but I have to when they're when they're evil puppies. No, that's fine. I'm gonna I'm still gonna kill you. See? There we go. I was pressing the wrong button. I was thinking L2 is heal health. There we go. Um, so you have the Morning Star, but what else could I have with it? The Remarkable Hand Axe. Or the Remarkable Light Mace. I don't, I don't think so. Did I pick up an armor? Nope. Well, that is a lot of healing potions. All right. Well, you know, keep going. Right. Yeah, these guys are giving like 12 experience each. Okay. Um, you know what? We're going to go forward a little bit and not save. Can I go across this? I can. Okay. You know what? I mean, I'll, I'll take fighting bats. I don't mind that. But I feel... There, okay. So we have sprint. We have sprint already equipped. That's pretty good. But I mean, look. We have a pathway this way and a pathway over to our left or our right that we still haven't taken yet. Alright. And boom. Well, there's a door there. Can't tell on the mini map though if it's. Oh, it is a door to something. Okay, the door's locked and there's a lady in there. Okay. With the door being locked though, we can't get in. 
Maybe we can get another door. Oh, cool. Well, that's gonna be... Oh, I saved a hostage. And she gave me $11. I'll take it. What do you got for me? Fine battle axe. Do I have one of those already? Fine warhammer. I have a great axe. 6 to 18. 12 to 16. Okay, so the fine battle axe does more for the possibility, but less overall. That was like $12. Like less averagely than the other axe that I have. All right, let's go back over this way then. All the blood stains. All right. Okay. <laughs> they're not they're not that difficult. Boom. Look at that. Alright, let's switch to I'm curious about something. Wait, where is it? Ransack. Okay. Uh ransack. Didn't work. Fine longsword's pretty good. Ransack. Morning star, nine gold. All right, but instead of the dagger now, I could just do another, no, but I should go with that. Okay, so unequip, equip as the main, and then we can have the morning star be on the offhand. There. Release the doggies. Wow. All right. Easy. Well, again, still pretty easy. Okay, I can't carry the great axe right now. Right, where are you? Hey, dog, come on. I see you there. There. All right, what do you got for me? Nothing? Okay. Fine hand axe. And a, a bunch of stuff there. Nothing for me. It looks like nothing for me as well. All right, um, now what is that? A great axe, and I have a great axe, 20 pounds. We only have eight pounds available. There's no way that we can get, um, I mean, I could come back for it, I guess. We could do that. I mean, I'm not saying I'm gonna, but that is a very nice possibility to have. Oh, I can disarm you? Good. Oh, look at that. It's pretty nice. All right, let's go to the what? I think we could go and sell a couple items and then pick up the battle axe. Because, I mean, it's going to cost us, like, 20... Okay. Just one check. It's going to cost us, you know, a little bit of time, but getting that 20 pounds uh, or getting that extra money will definitely end up being helpful. I just have to find my way out of here. I'm probably going to end up selling some more uh, 
of the magic potions because honestly we haven't had to use it that uh use them that much i only use them for topping myself off but like really the only time that we ever had to actually use some is when i was doing the um like the the rat, the multi shot that we were doing if you use your ranged weapons frequently consider the accuracy free feet i mean i could yeah that's right i can't uh can't sprint in town All right. Welcome back. So we're gonna sell. Wait, find a hand axe. Remarkable hand axe. Yeah, get rid of the fine. Pretty sure we have just a normal morning star, which we do. Fine battle axe versus great axe. Is that the right one? Yeah, and I'm gonna keep the great axe because it will be it will do more. Um, Consistent damage. And we already have a superior staff, so I can get rid of that. I will get rid of one of the superior daggers now, which I think that one finds. Okay, so. Bastard sword, because I'm going one handed. Yeah, that works. Nothing there. Sell these. I don't need that many. Uh, I'm going to keep the recall potions, get rid of the shoddy amulet. All right, and then we can pick up an extra 40 pounds. Seems good. Seems good to me. All right, so we can go and get that um, great axe, which then will... Um, put us to 40 pounds left that we can end up picking up. But I mean, we're gonna we're gonna be able to get quite a bit of money because I mean we're already at four grand, or almost five grand now, actually. And thankfully, it does not take us long to get back to where we were. This sprint is really good. I might upgrade at the next level up that I get, but that's going to take forever if we're only getting like 12 experience for each human. Which I'm honestly surprised that this was not our first quest. Like, I couldn't get this one until I beat the manor one. And uh, that one, like I was getting five times the amount of experience for the monsters. Yeah, that took us like a minute to get back there, which is awesome. I don't care. Now, um, we do have um, character-specific quests, it seems, related to races. Maybe it's related to quests or to classes. But um, with that, I don't think I'm going to... How did I miss that? Well, that was nice. Um, I don't think we are going to show off every single one because that would just, it would be way too much playing for me, I feel. So we will just, uh, you know, deal with this one story and then if you want, uh, there, I'm sure there are other people who are out there who have done the playlist or who have done a playthrough with like a necromancer or a barbarian. To get a quest specific to them. So, I'm going to do the dwarf. And that's going to be it. Alright. So, let's kill the bat. Kill the bat. Alright. Let's go across the bridge. Ow. Oh, cool. More iron keys. 
is fine. Okay, uh, when we come back, saving the prisoners. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.